Hi, my name is Philip. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to uh, do make soundproofing insulation for a ceiling. Now this ceiling is a bit different than the, the other the previous videos I did. Uh, it's not a concrete slab, it's made of timber joists, so it's hollow inside and there is a timber floor above. So it's very, very echo inside the, the cavity and we can hear television talking sometimes and uh, people walking of course. So we are going to do first, we're going to open the ceiling first in many places to um, install between the joists uh, very high density polyester bats. It can be different type of bats, you know, fiber, wool glass or uh, rock wool or something like this. Um, I use this because it's not itchy and uh, uh, we're going to put two layers of this, the more the better basically. And we are going to open the ceiling in different places to have access to all the cavity inside. Okay, things didn't really go as planned. Uh, uh, normally what I do, I open the ceiling from place to place and I push two layers of bats inside, two layers of these bats, high density bats. But uh, we had a, a system a bit different than usual. We had a double system like this one, so we have uh, two different members, one member separate from the other, one to hold the floor and a separate one to hold the ceiling. So it's better for acoustic, but in this case it was not enough because uh, we have also to put some uh, butts inside the cavity, otherwise you got too much reverberation, some reverberation, too much echo in other words and the sound double inside the cavity. So with those bats inside, it will drop by half already and then we'll add some other products. Now, I have to open the, to remove the ceiling completely um, to have access because we had double, double system there and it was too complicated with only one hole here, here and there. So uh, that's what we, we do now. And after that, after the bats, we're going to continue with resilient mounts and plasterboard, etc. The, I put two layers, um, the more bats you put the better, but one thing important is make sure you don't put too much and avoid any compression between the new ceiling and the, and the board, because if there is some compression then you will have, you create some transfer, uh, like a bridge sort of, and we have transfer vibration and that do, you have the opposite effect. So it's good to have some gaps, air gaps between and things are a bit, a bit loose. That's, uh, that's what you need to have. Now we have finished to install the, the bats. Now we're going to install a special mount called resilient mount. It's made with uh, rubber and it's uh, designed to reduce the vibration from the footstep, especially from the footstep um, from the, the ceiling going into the firming channels. And we just simply install with a screw and it separates the vibration from the screw going into the new structure, the firming channel, and we just put the screw very simply, like this, in the right place, and that's it, done. And we just have to clip the channel on this mount. Good, so now we have installed the Brazilian mounts and the firming channels. Uh, normally I have uh, the existing ceiling still in place, in this case I had to remove it. Um, but then when we install the second, plus, the second layer of plasterboard on the frame channel, we create a new cavity. Once we have a cavity, we always have reverberation inside and the sound increase and sometimes it doubles. So to prevent that, we install another layer of high density acoustic bats uh, between, between the existing ceiling and the new one. And it helps uh, reduce and uh, reduce the echo, eliminate, I would say, the echo and reduce the sound transmission. Uh, I don't absolutely have to do that in this case because I don't have the existing ceiling, but I have the product, the material, so it's going to be better than anyway. So I'll, I'll do that. Now, as you can see, we have finished uh, to install the first layer of 16 mil thick plasterboard. And also we have sealed all around the gap, make sure there's no more gap uh, all around. And we are going to install now a second layer of 16 mil thick plasterboard with, on top, a loaded vinyl, 
uh, this one is six kilo per square meter. So the idea of this product, this is a flexible sound barrier. And the idea is to decouple both plasterboard to separate them. Because if the plasterboard are together, the sound see it as one plasterboard and both are vibrate the same way. If we separate them, then the sound lose a lot of energy going through, especially if you put a, a heavy loaded vinyl between. It works as well if you put a two kilo, that's a visco elastic membrane. It's quite good, quite cost effective and efficient. But uh, to achieve better result, I prefer to put a six kilo per square meter loaded vinyl. So we're going to install this together now. I highly recommend the use of a panel lift because the panels are very heavy. Okay, now the job is finished. We finish uh, the second layer of plasterboard. We see the second time all around the perimeter of the room, and we install some cornish just for the for the look. Um, now. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to call me and uh, I'll be happy to answer you. Thank you for watching the video.